Hi guys, today I would like to share about the advantage of REPL in MicroPython which is very helpful for newbies or beginners to learn coding in microcontroller. Before that, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell to get the latest update from us. REPL means Read Evil Print Loop. It is one of the features in the Python programming language where the written code will be executed on the fly. For MicroPython, it is called MicroPython Interactive Interpreter Mode. Why I say this feature is very helpful for newbies to learn code in microcontroller Besides being able to see the results of each line of code, to understand the coding, we have to try more examples of code. So this feature allows you to do it easily and quickly. For example, I will show the demo here. I'm using ESP32 with MicroPython. I will try to control the built-in LED in this board using REPL. I'm using Tony Python IDE on Raspberry Pi 400. To control GPIO, we need to import machines class. I set the LED on pin 2 as output. Once it is set as output, the default value of the pin is 0. The LED is light up because it is active low. Value 0 will turn on the LED. To turn it off, I can set the LED value to 1. Again, value 0 will turn on the LED. Value 1 will turn off the LED. Next, I try the input button. This button is connected to pin 39 with a pull-up resistor. I will set it as input. I can read the status of this button using the value function. When the button is released, the value is 1. When I press the button, it returns 0. We can see here, REPL will directly execute the line and return the result. In REPL, you can also create a loop like while true. For example, I will control the LED using the push button. I set the value of the LED to refer to the value of the button. Both LED and push button are active low. When I press the button, the value is 0 and value 0 will turn on the LED. To exit the loop, I can terminate by pressing Ctrl C. For software reset, you can press Ctrl D and all values will return to the default state. So with REPL, you can do more quick tests such as reading sensor data, controlling servo motors, or maybe checking the S2C address. So what do you think? 
write your opinion in the comment section. That's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.